all in such a fucking hurry. Hey ladies, I'm back. Another day, another podcast. I have a question for you. Why are you in a hurry? Like, I really want to know, why are you in a hurry? So the reason why I wanted to bring this up today is because... (laughs) Oh my God, this sounds so stupid. I was on Facebook and I saw this ad and it was like, move over elf on the shelf. Now there's peeps coming for Easter. You know, those gross, well, they're not really gross, but they're, they freaking mess you up. But the sugar filled marshmallowy peeps, those little like duck chicky looking things and it's you know around easter time well the peep company has bought on to oh my gosh look at elf on the shelf right so in the marketing world they're like yeah this thing has made billions of dollars so guess what now we're gonna have a freaking peep that parents are gonna buy into and they're going to move this stupid little peep around the damn house before the easter bunny shows up and I shared it on my, on my wall and I put, oh my fuck, exclamation mark. And the comments were hilarious of, oh no, not this, here we go. And this is just one example of a cultural epidemic to bind into the illusion of what a good parent is and we never stop and ask ourselves is this in alignment with my values so a lot of the women that I attract in my world of mamas in control say to me I feel out of control in my life so I ask you why do you feel out of control and too often it's because we are living from the outside And trying to fill a void that is inside us from looking outside. And what the outside could be pressure, demand, you know, from your work, from your clients, from your partner, from your children, from the school. I get it. There's a lot of external forces. So what happens is, you know, I kind of force people, bring them back to themselves. Like, who are you? Who do you want to be in this world? And sometimes it, there's, you struggle, you're challenged because there's this go, 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 go energy. Go, 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 go energy comes from a place of fear. End of discussion. I don't have enough money. I don't have enough time. There's more to do. My to-do list is endless. I can't check it off quick enough. I need to do, I need to do, I need to do. And you're just like, go, go, go. Don't glorify that. Like, don't, don't do that. It's not sustainable. So, but what I find in my world is I'm, I'm coming to a place of contentment where I am legit content doing my own thing, being my own person, spending time with my family, cooking simple food, podcasting every day, you know, taking the high leverage action in my business to manifest what I desire, but I don't need to be everywhere all at once. And I also get the projection of other people telling me, oh, you're so busy. Oh, you look this. Oh, you look that. And I'm like, no, I'm not. You're actually projecting your shit onto me. I'm not busy. I'm content. I don't need to say yes to everything. I actually don't need to say yes to every invitation I receive because that is the illusion of hustle and busy. I don't want it. I'm not buying into it. So when I saw this advertisement for this stupid peep thingy that parents are, I know they're going to fucking buy into it because they do because they, and then they're going to say, Why don't I have more money? Why don't I have time? Because you're fucking making time to move this stupid little peep around your house every fucking night. 
And then you're going to bitch and complain about it on Facebook and then wonder why you never have time to make yourself a healthy meal or wonder why you don't create the space to journal or, or just sit with yourself for two minutes. This is your opportunity to say no thank you. This is your opportunity to listen to what your body needs. Sometimes in my career, what the chosen path that I have chosen to take is to be a trailblazer and to take a stand for how women want to feel in their lives. Doing that often feels like you are swimming upstream. And those who make it are the ones that were just fucking determined to get there. You do not need to buy in to the cultural expectation of who you need to be as a female. It is 2019. It is not your responsibility to do everything. You and only you have bought in to the cultural expectation that it is your responsibility to do everything. Exhale. I dare you to let it all go. I dare you to give up control. I dare you to set everything that does not bring you joy on fire. I dare you to take some of what you desire and give it to yourself. Now listen, when you start this process, it is extremely uncomfortable and you will be convinced that you are selfish. You need to hang on to that bigger why. You need to. So lately, I've been feeling this push, push, push pressure. And this energy, this pressure, I have no idea where it's coming from. I'm sure it's coming from myself. I'm sure it's coming from the planets, um, you know, expectations of other people, all of that crap. Uh, you know, we're in the transition of moving. That's fun. Oh my God. I'll save that for another podcast. I also feel like this time of year headed into spring. It's almost like a boop, like pushing you into another season, but you don't, you don't need to be pushed. You don't need to be forced. This is why I'm such an advocate for slowing the fuck down. Because everyone's like, but, but Heather, I, I, I'm not going to get there. I'm not going to reach my goal. Is that fucking true? Is that true? Or are you just making up that freaking lie to yourself because you believe you are incapable of achieving that goal? You are making an impact on the blueprint of what women look like for your children. You are making the impact today on how your son feels about women and how your daughter feels about herself. You are their role model. How you show up is very important. But don't put the pressure on yourself that you need to figure out your shit today. It's a lifestyle. It's a cultural evolution. So I will not be buying a peep on the shelf. I will not. And if somebody buys me one, I'm going to fucking give that shit to my dog. I will not 
buy into this cultural expectation of what a good parent looks like. I crave connection. I crave healthy, hearty meals around a kitchen table. I crave laughter. I crave play. I crave nature. I do not crave a peep on the shelf. I do not crave doing more. I crave doing less, keeping it simple, keeping it consistent, keeping it practical. But guess what? I also crave adventure and big dreams, and it all comes from the inside. What are your insides screaming to you? What do they crave? And are you listening? Are you listening? Honestly. No one's going to change this shit. It's just you. All right, ladies. That's my spiel for today. You so got this.